Here's going to be a quick video of how to assemble a 7.3 power stroke injector. We are first going to start with the fuel side of the injector. I'm not going to show you. This is just a obviously used. I haven't cleaned it up or anything. Um, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to assemble it. First you want to start out with your nozzle and um, your other parts that go on the bottom. You want to get some needle nose pliers and drop your small pins into the nozzle. Then take your, a, uh, I'll call it the spacer. Then you take your flat lift spacer and spring. This is sort of a balancing act. You want to hold the edge of this and then hold your spring in there. And then you just slide it into your injector and you want to spin this to make sure the pins are still lined up. Now you want to drop your limiting pin in there. Now we need to assemble this here. Put your check ball in, your check plate. And then align your other plate onto there. Put your pins in like this. You want your pins sticking out a little bit on the opposing side. And you'll grab it with uh, your needle nose. I've cut a groove into these so it will actually hold the pins so it doesn't want to shoot out. You just want to align it in there, push your pins down, spin it again to make sure everything's aligned. Now you want to assemble your barrel and plunger Put your check ball in there. Put your snap ring on there. Spring in this. You want to make sure all these parts are um, lubed up with uh, diesel fuel or you can use WD-40. I like to use WD-40. Just doesn't smell as strongly. And you just kind of drop it in there like that. Now we'll go ahead and put our two pins in. One here. One there. Put your plunger in there with its spring. You constantly want to check to make sure all these pins are aligned. If you get the pins uh, not aligned, you will shear off the pins and potentially uh, ruin your injector. So now we will start with this. Here's one tip for putting on O-rings. This is just a really quick assembly video. This obviously isn't going through everything, um, but it'll show you enough to just do a basic rebuild on your injectors. With this, with O-rings, you want to install them, and then you want to run your pick around them like this. This straight straightens straightens them out, and because uh, what will happen is the O-ring will twist, and it'll end up leaking. So we need to install this O-ring here, 
You want to install this with a blunt object. I've cut off the end of this pick and polished it up so it's uh, blunt and smooth. You don't want any nicks in this o-ring, it is holding back 3000 psi of oil pressure. And generally you can just pop that right in there with your finger once you got it in there. Run your pick around it, make sure it's in there good. And you want to assemble these parts with your oil side with um, some thick oil. You can use diesel oil, you know, standard 15W40, just thick oil is fine. Just pop that into place, install that o-ring. You want to make sure everything's lined up again. And that will just fall in there. Pre press your spring down. You want to torque this to 65 foot-pounds. Um, this is a inch and three sixteenths crow's foot wrench, and then also a 30 millimeter crow's foot wrench will work as well. Um, there's only about five thousandths difference between the sizes. You want to torque this down to 65 foot-pounds, 65 to 70 foot-pounds. Um, now we'll start assembling the oil side of it. You want to fill this up with oil so it's not starting in the truck dry. Put your uh, poppet valve in there. Put your poppet valve spring. Now this, this is critical here. Uh, you always want this longer side to go away from this little dimple in here. Now we need to install this. Put your o-ring in here. Usually you can do this without a pick or anything. Install your spacer. They make different thicknesses of spacers for this. Um, obviously, since you're doing basic rebuild, you, you won't have an extra spacer or a shim to go underneath there. They do that to limit the poppet valve. As you can see on this poppet valve, there's a little ring mark. Hopefully you can see that on camera. That's from the armature plate from hitting hitting this. But I'd recommend if you notice that on your poppet valve, take this to your local machine shop. Ask them if they have a uh, small surface grinder there and they can surface grind a thousandths or two thousandths off to prevent that from hitting the top. That'll uh, bring up a code on your truck and check engine line will pop on. Anyways, you want to make sure that this is facing away from this dimple here. Okay, then same for this. You want this to face away from that dimple. Now again, this is just a uh, quick video. Torque specs on these. Um, you can just tighten them up hand tight and you want to hold hold pressure down here. I'll have um, torque specs in the description below. And then this, there is no orientation. Some of them have notches and stuff on them. Um, go ahead and install this piece here. You want to make sure your pop valve is facing in this direction. Uh, this is how every one of them that I've taken apart from the factory comes. So you want to put everything back as it goes. And again, make sure this is facing the solenoid. So if it's flipped like this, it's not going to get uh, drawn to the solenoid right. I'll give you torque specs on that in the description as well. Now there's a couple different ways to tighten this up. Um, you can hold it just with your hand or you can also hold it with a small crescent wrench and this is a uh, also a convenient way to hold it. 
with uh, this little plate here. Just want to get a few threads in. I usually use a, a small crescent wrench, but this works just as good. And a lot of these screws, they can just be hand tightened. Um, it's really not critical. On these smaller sc screws, you do risk breaking them off if you tighten them down too much. And that is not good at all. You want to tighten the four screws underneath this in a star pattern, just like you would do a four lug wheel. Okay, now you need your solenoid to go on there. Just put all this in at once. You want to make sure your solenoid connector is facing this direction this is where your oil spout goes and then your oil spout your oil spills out through that hole you so you want all of this oriented correctly then you just tighten these in a star pattern as well that is all there is to assembling a 7.3 power stroke injector